oftentimes we give Democrats a lot of heat for appearing to be a little weak when it comes to challenging those who oppose them. Well, there's one state lawmaker in Pennsylvania who is actually pretty strong and he is not afraid of Donald Trump. I'd like you to meet Senator Dylan Leach, someone who wants to fight aggressively in his state to address civil asset forfeiture. Now, civil asset forfeiture is a huge problem in this country, and there are actually more than a dozen states that are currently trying to combat the problem. It essentially allows uh, police enforcement to take or confiscate your money, your property, before you've been convicted of any crime. So if there's a uh, probable cause, they will be able to take that property in order to investigate you. And the reality is, in a lot of the cases, even when the individual has not been convicted of a crime, he or she is very much unlikely to ever get that money back. It's amazing. And so a lot of police departments throughout the country are underfunded and rely on civil asset forfeiture to make up some of the money that they don't get in taxpayer money. So this is a nightmare, and a lot of lawmakers, both Republicans and Democrats, realize that it's a problem. Now, there is one group that loves civil asset forfeiture, and those are the cops. And recently, uh, a... A number of cops met with Donald Trump and they addressed various issues that they're concerned about. And one sheriff from Rockwell County, Texas, griped about a Texas state senator seeking to change the law so that a conviction would be required before a suspect's assets could be seized. Take a look at the video where the interaction happened and pay close attention to Donald Trump's reaction. A state senator in Texas it was was talking about introducing legislation to require conviction before we could receive that forfeiture money Can you believe that? and I told him that the cartel would build a monument to him in Mexico if he could get that legislation Who's the back. state senator? Do you want to give his name? We'll destroy his career. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President. Okay. <laughs> Wow, okay. Uh, so that was his reaction. Well, the first reaction I thought was, like, we, he wants us to need a conviction. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can believe that. That seems perfectly that's, reasonable. That's, that they get to steal your stuff? That is your private property. That is your money. Um, there have been instances of police, you know, basically shaking people up at places where they know individuals are more likely to carry a lot of cash. So some people, when they're traveling, uh, like to carry... Uh, a lot more cash with them because let's say you're going to travel to a different country you're going to exchange the currency and so they'll know that and then they'll pull someone over or or pull someone aside because they look suspicious they might look like a drug trafficker yeah. and then they'll take that money and say oh it's for our investigation and that person is unlikely to get that money back it's a huge problem again 15 states are trying to combat this issue and it's not just democrats who care about it it's also republican lawmakers now senator dylan leach heard about that interaction and was not happy about it, okay? <laughs> State Senator Dylan Leach from Pennsylvania. And so he decided to comment about this on social media, and he posted on his Facebook page the following. Hey, I oppose civil asset forfeiture too. Why don't you come after me, you fascist, loofah-faced shit gibbon? <laughs> <laughs> That's disrespectful to the president, Leach. Wow. That you fascist, loofah-faced shit given. He is a man of wow. my own heart. He's a poet. He's he, just painting pictures with words. That is, I, I, I love that because you don't hear that kind of language from Democrats because Democrats are so obsessed with remaining on their high horse where yeah. they're like, well, I do declare, let's now discuss whether or not it's ac acceptable to punch a Nazi. <laughs> is it or is it not? Like, okay, get off your high horse and why don't we be real about whatever situation it is that we're talking about, okay? And so, in this case, he's like, yeah, uh, shit gibbon. That's what you are, yeah, you're I shit gibbon. I don't think you hear this particular language from anyone on any side of the aisle, loofah-faced shit gibbon. You don't, but uh, what I Ooh. mean by that is- Rule 19. Is the profanity <laughs> in his comment. Like, you don't, you don't hear that from Democratic lawmakers ever, ever. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that, oh, profanity is always great, I'm just saying that I love how real he is and I love how strong he is because a lot of, I think a lot of lawmakers are afraid of Donald Trump, yeah. you know, he, because he, he can That's destroy true. your career. And in this case, he's like, come at me, come yeah. at me. Can I, uh, can I make a request to the audience?
Sure. So uh, in the past, uh, you guys have linked me up with uh, puppet, puppet manufacturers and people who uh, make swords, although I didn't pursue that because I'm lazy. Uh, so I'm hoping that someone in the audience is enough of a graphic artist that you can create an artist rendition of what a loofah-faced shit gibbon who is also a supporter of fascism would look like. Uh. And you can tweet me uh, that at John Idarola. Yeah. Now, um, he was asked, the state senator was asked whether or not he uh, regrets or apologizes for some of the language that he used. And apparently one of his uh, spokespeople came out and said the following, he's never really been one to tiptoe around the issues. <laughs> God, I love it. He says what he thinks, and he's really angry in general about what Trump's doing. And when he saw what Trump said about this other state senator, he took it a little personally because he's been trying to pass civil asset forfeiture reform in Pennsylvania. By the way, just to give you uh, a number on how much money police actually take away from people who have not been convicted of a crime, uh, police seized a whopping $25 million in assets in 2014 alone. Yeah, so they're not going to want to lose access yeah, to that. Yeah, it's, it's a way of them funding their departments. And there have been cases of abuse when it comes to this. Uh, there were cases of one individual in a police department who actually used $5,000 from civil asset forfeiture to pay off student loans. Oh, I mean, I guess if you're going to take it. <laughs> I want to get rid of student loans. Yeah, not yeah, at of the course cost you're not of individuals who have not been convicted of a crime. Yes, so. that's true. Uh, I love strength, and that's what was demonstrated by State Senator Dylan Leach. You're awesome, and I wish you Turk a, of the year. a great career. Become a TYT member and get all of our shows, including the ones only members see, old school, aggressive, progressive, our post games, TYT classics, and you even get the interviews before anyone else does. TYTnetwork.com slash join.